All right, folks, we're starting off laying down and we'll take a few breaths just to kind of get, get centered and get relaxed. So close your eyes and take a little time. Deep breaths in through your nose. Deep breaths out through your nose. And allow these breaths and this moment to really draw you into the present. Let everything that ever happened before this exact moment just kind of wash away. And let everything that you anticipate possibly happening after this moment, let that be. Let's just be with what is happening right here, right now. No matter what it is, all right. Feel your back body relaxing. And maybe you can feel your spine kind of neutralizing against the floor. And if you've been sitting or standing or kind of running around a lot today, maybe a little bend in your knees can help the low back neutralize a little bit more toward the floor. So try that. Maybe a little bend in the elbows and putting a little external rotation in the shoulders can help your chest open up a little more. We get so locked up there. And then maybe experiment here with putting a little curl on the corner of each side of your mouth. <laughs> Notice how it feels to breathe with a smile. Okay, feeling really big movement in your belly and your chest. Feel that movement wrap all the way around the sides of your body to your back. Feel the back body pressing against the floor and then receding from it. And then let's experiment and play a little bit at the very tippy top of your next inhale. As much air as you can take it. Maybe hold it there for a few counts. And then exhale completely. And at the very bottom of your exhale, where you can't push out any more air, maybe hold there for a bit. And then keeping this long, slow breath, okay, this intention in your breathing. Let's start to move a little bit more. So let's start off with some windshield wipers, just waking up our hips. If you bend your knees and take your feet in a little closer to you, shimmy the feet away from each other, and we'll walk, or we'll drop the knees side to side. A really gentle movement here, just saying hello to your hips. And gently twisting and realigning your low back. I like to make this movement really gentle at first, kind of uh, giving the hips a little time to wake up, giving the joints a little time to warm up. But as you feel the joints, your hip joints and your low back warm up to this idea, maybe press down into your hands, into your upper body, really stabilizing your upper body against the floor. And then you can mobilize a little bit more in the hips and low back by really drawing the knees downward firmly. So play around with that. Thank you. 
And then let's make this twist a little bit more twisty. So next time your knees point up at center, pause. Pick your feet up so that your knees float just above your hips. And we'll put the knees right together. And if you take your arms out nice and wide, okay, you maybe make goal posts out of your arms so your chest is nice and big. Press your upper body into the floor and hover the knees on one side. Bring them through center and hover them on the other side. So keep it going side to side, just like this. Keep breathing. So we want to think of our shoulder blades staying really firmly grounded. Okay. And we feel this twist beginning to roll all the way up to the base of your skull. And you can get that complete twist by looking away from your knees when they drop and hover to a side. I like to inhale on the twist and exhale through center, but just keep breathing. That's most important. Maybe one more time on each side. Hopefully feeling some warmth building in your torso. All right, so let's get the core a little bit more awakened. Bring the knees back in and hover them just right above your hips. And then maybe move them a little bit away from you so that they really are right over your hips. And from here, take your hands to your thighs. And if it's all right with your neck, okay, you have no neck problems today, no uh, no injuries, just peel up your shoulders and your head. Now we wanna make sure the neck isn't crunched. So keep a little space in the back sides and front of your neck, please. And start to push against your legs. So I want you to feel your abs and your core wake up right away and chances are you are. Breathe here with me. Notice if there's any tendency to pop your low back up off the floor. If you notice that happening, just bend your knees a little more and drop your head and come back into it, keeping that low back moving downward, okay? We wanna keep the low back as neutral as we can. Now here's what we're gonna to start to challenge ourselves with. I want you to extend one leg toward the front of the mat and then bring it back up towards your hand. Inhale, extend the other leg. Exhale, bring it in. Let's go side to side, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Now keep going so you can go really slowly, cultivating control. I want you to feel heat building in your core. Keep it going. Let's do maybe three more side to side. Two more. Last one on each side. Next time those knees come back in, uh, rest your head and shoulders on the ground. Give your knees a hug. You can grab one knee with each hand and gently squeeze it in towards your chest. Maybe smoosh your low back around on the floor in all directions. Alrighty, hands tucked behind your knees now. Let's rock and roll a little bit. So maybe three or four times. Rock up, see if you can balance on your sitting bones and then roll it down. Have fun with it, rock up, balance and then roll it down. If the balance is challenging, just put your tippy toes down, okay? One more time, come on up and balance. And then go ahead and do drop your tippy toes in front and your fingertips in back. And we'll get into a little boat pose, okay? So remember in a boat, our first order of business is to lengthen the spine, okay? It tends to wanna to round here, and it's okay if you notice it rounding, but lengthen to the best of your ability. Tuck your tailbone slightly and point it at your toes and wrap your belly button inward as much as you can. And if everything's going great, you can reach your hands for the back of your knees. A slight leaning back idea here, so your abs are engaged. 
If you're still feeling great, you can lift your toes. And if all is going well, you can reach your hands towards your feet. And we'll take some nice breath here. And I want to twist with you a little bit. So if your hands are free, put them together by your heart. Long spine. If your hands are on your uh, knees or your uh, the floor, then just keep them there. Okay, no problem. We're going to extend one leg toward the front of the mat. Pull the other one in. See if you can bring opposite elbow to knee. And inhale back to center, just where you were before. Okay, exhale, switch sides. One leg extends, twist opposite elbow to knee. Inhale back to center. If your hands are on your knees, it looks pretty much the same. Okay, shoulders twist. Inhale back to center. And if your hands are behind you, pretty much the same idea. So I just kind of want you to interpret this. Let's do three more times on each side. Slow twist. Inhale. Slow twist. Inhale. Two more times. Slow. Inhale. Feeling some nice core warmth building. Slow. Inhale. One more on each side. Slow and hold right here. If you need to put your hands down, do it. No problem. One more big breath in. One more big exhale. Inhale through center. Other side. Exhale, twist. Hold here. Breathe with me. Big breath in. Big exhale. Very nice. Inhale back to center. Exhale here. Ah, drop your feet. And if you point your knees out to one side, I'll meet you on your hands and knees. Okay, here we are. Let's get some, uh, some cat cows going. So uh, I'd like to combine this with a wrist stretch. For those of us, especially who've been working at a desk, this will feel really nice. So uh, palms will flip up here, fingers pointing back at you. And if one hand is quite enough, then just do one. You wanna do two hands, go for it. And same idea as when we're doing a cat cow. We're inhaling to pull the heart forward between your arms, thinking of lifting your belly button at the same time. And as you exhale, push the floor away. Look at your belly button. A few more rounds, just like this. Nice wavy movement in your long, beautiful spine. Push the floor and pull your heart up. Okay, remember to make this kind of snaky, get a little side to side rolling action. All right, and I'll meet you back at a flat back. Okay, we can take our hands back to normal. Ah, that was a good wrist stretch. Tuck your toes here, send it up and back, and we'll take our first down dog of this practice. So shake it out, make it kind of weird, and walk your heels out. Kind of assessing what is the situation in the backs of the legs here. What do the calves feel like? What do your hamstrings feel like? And also, how's your chest feeling? Does it release toward the ground readily or is there some resistance? All right, notice all of that without any judgment. Okay, we're not even really that warm. So yeah, just be gentle with this down dog. As you're ready, my friends, let's get a little warmer. So we'll just start to flow. So feel free to modify and take breaks at any time. Okay, interpret. Inhaling here, move your heart forward. Find a long planky shape. And with your exhale, bend your knees. We'll do a little hover. Okay, you're really hovering the knees off the mat. Look at your hands, long arms, like a squat. Okay, inhaling here, find your plank. And exhaling here, step to your hands and fold. Roll yourself up on your inhale. Reach up nice and tall. Exhale here, drop into your chair squat. So drop your tailbone, lift your heart. Now listen carefully here. Inhale, reach back with your right hand. Peel open your chest. Maybe look back, move your left knee back. Feel how it wants to move forward. Exhale, back to your chair. On the other side now, inhale, left arm peels open. Look back, move your right knee back. Exhale, back to your chair squat. 
Inhale, back up to standing. Maybe a teeny tiny back bend here as you lift your heart. Ah, exhale here, fold it, hinge at your hips all the way down. Come halfway up on your inhale. Feel free to bend your knees generously. And with your exhale, make a nice fold, perhaps still bending your knees here. Palms are coming down here, inhaling back to your plank. Exhaling here, see if you could pull your elbows in by your ribs, bend your knees and wag your tailbone in the air. Slow, 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 all the way down. Okay, inhaling here, pull your heart upward, find a big cobra shape, tailbone drives to the center of the earth and the heart wants to move to the sky. With your exhale, come back down and I'll meet you in a down dog, up and back. Then we'll take a few moments here just to walk it out and pedal it out. So that's gonna be our little warming flow to kind of warm us up. And I'd like to move through it two more times. Okay, I like to do things in threes. So a couple more breaths here in your down dog and we'll do that, maybe a little faster this time. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Inhaling here, heart moves forward to your plank. Exhaling, bend your knees. We're hovering the knees just off the mat. Look at your hands, hover. Inhaling for your plank. Exhale, walk to your hands and fold. Roll it up on your inhale, push into your heels, lift your heart. Exhale here, into your chair posture, drop your hips. Okay, now you know where we're going from here this time. So inhaling, right arm reaches back, pull the left knee back as you look at your right hand. Try to drop nice and low. Exhale, back to your chair squat. The other side, inhaling, left hand reaches back as the right knee pulls back slightly. Exhale, back to your chair squat. Maybe sit a little lower. Inhaling here, all the way up, tiny back bend. Exhaling, big fold all the way down. Halfway up for your inhale. And a very big fold, exhale. Palms are down, inhale to your plank. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin come down. Slow, 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 slow. Inhale, cobra, heart up, tailbone down. And exhale, downward facing dog. I'll meet you there. Take some time, just breathe in here. Five or six breaths is what I'm, what I'm thinking we can spend here. And we'll do that little warm up flow one more time. Maybe a little teensy bit faster. Now that we know what to expect. So notice your legs warming up, possibly your arms, your shoulders, your calves, things like that. Notice your breath and your heart rate and any body heat that you may have accumulated. And here we go. Inhaling here, heart moves forward to your plank. Exhaling, chair squat on the floor. So hips towards your heels, knees hover. Inhaling to your plank. Exhale to your hands, fold. Inhale, roll it up. Exhale to your chair squat. Drop it low, guys. Inhale, twist right hand back, left knee back. Exhale to your chair. Little lower. Inhale, left hand back, right knee back. Exhale to your chair. Drop a little lower. Inhale, lift your heart. Tiny back bend. Exhale, fold it. Halfway up, inhale. Big fold, exhale. Palms are down, inhale to plank. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin, wag your tail. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Shake it out here, five or six breaths, yogis. Should be feeling a little different than that first down dog we did. All right. We're gonna to start to move a little more here, so always feel free to modify. Inhaling here, friends, get that right leg up and out behind. 
Exhaling here, right knee toward the right elbow. Let's see if we can just tap that right tricep, maybe get a little sneak it up there a little higher. Inhale, send the right knee back, right foot toward the sky. Exhale, this time right knee to the left elbow. Could you squinch it up to the tricep maybe? Tap that left tricep maybe. Inhale, right leg up and out behind. Exhale, right foot drops between your hands. Boom. We're headed to a low lunge here. So drop that left knee, come up on your fingertips and inhale to pull your heart upward like we're doing a cow pose. And just like we're doing a cat pose, exhale here, pull your hips back around your spine. Let's do that again. Inhale, cat spine looking forward in your low lunge. Exhale, cat spine, rolling it back. One more like that. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, pull it back into your half split. Nice, one more time. Inhaling to roll up into your low lunge. Tuck the back toes here, okay? And come on up into a crescent lunge. So we're lifting that back knee. Let's take a few breaths here in your crescent. So I want you to really push the floor down with your strong legs, push into your leg bones, push into your feet, and try to draw the knees toward each other. Move that inward, okay, that inward bind. Lift the heart from there, maybe drop a little lower. Maybe join your hands and point your pointer fingers at something behind you. And maybe a smile on your lips for this last breath in. And as you exhale, drop your hands under your shoulders, back to down dog. A breath or two here to shake it off, let it go. And we'll take a little vinyasa to shake that off. So inhaling here, find your plank. With your exhale, maybe hop, maybe step to your hands. It's up to you and fold. Inhale to roll it up. Exhale, drop into your chair squat. We're gonna take a full breath in here. And I want you to drop a little lower on your exhale. Inhale up to standing, tiny back bend. Exhale as you fold. Halfway up, inhale. Big fold, exhale. Palms are down. Inhale to plank, you can hop it or step it. And exhale, knees, chest, and chin down, just like before. Inhale for that cobra, maybe a little upward facing dog if you wanna hover your legs. And exhale, downward facing dog. Five or six breaths here, yogis. Breathe. Notice body heat, breath rate, heart rate, emotions, physical sensations. Notice everything about this moment, okay? Just this moment. And as you're ready, beautiful people, let's do the other side. Now you know what to expect. So inhaling here, right leg, sorry, left leg. We're doing the other side, left leg up and out behind you to the sky. And exhale, left knee towards your left elbow. Close as you can. Maybe you could bring it a little closer to your left tricep. Scoop it up there. Inhale, left leg out behind you. Exhale, left knee to right elbow. Maybe a little closer up to your right tricep. You could squinch it up there. Inhale, send it out behind you. Exhale, left foot drops between your hands. We're dropping that right knee here, a little low lunge up on your fingertips. So inhale, pull your heart forward like a cow pose. Then exhale, pull your hips back around your spine like a cat pose as you extend the back of that left leg. Again, two more times, just like that. Inhale, cow heart moves up. Exhale, cat back rounds. One more time, inhale. And exhale. 
Nice. Inhaling back up to that little low lunge. Tuck your back toes, lift the back knee, turn it into a crescent lunge. So hands up and let's just spend a little time here in this lunge. So activate your strong legs. And the more you push down into those strong leg bones and pull your knees toward each other, the more stability and the more freedom you'll experience here. So lift your heart. Strong legs, maybe interlace your fingers, point your pointer fingers at something behind you. And if you wanna really challenge your balance here, close your eyes and smile big for this next breath in. Mm, exhale here, all hands down. I'll meet you in down dog. Take a breath or two here to shake it off. <sighs> And here comes a little vinyasa. You can always skip the vinyasa and take a break, okay? Inhaling here, heart moves forward to plank. Exhaling, hop or step to your hands and fold. Inhale, roll it up. Exhale to your chair squat, Utkatasana. Now hang here with me for a big breath in. Drop a little deeper with me as you exhale. Inhale up to standing, tiny back bend. Exhale and fold. Halfway up, inhale, uncurl your spine and look forward. Big fold on your exhale. Palms are down, inhale to plank, hop it or step it. Knees, chest and chin, come down as you exhale, elbows in. Inhale to cobra or up dog, tailbone points down, heart points up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Five or six breaths here, beautiful people. Maybe close your eyes. Notice all the different sensations swirling around. Notice every detail about this moment. This is the only moment that we have. It's the only one that matters, this moment. We'll start to push your hands into the mat here. Just really strengthening and activating your down dog. Start to press down into your heels as you lift your kneecaps. And could you lengthen your spine a little bit by walking your fingers an inch or two forward? What would happen if you put a little inward engagement between your elbows and almost a little energetic lift in the center of your palm and the center of your arch on each of your feet, like you're, like you're trying to kind of suck upward away from the mat with your arms and your legs. Let's keep moving, shall we? Inhaling here, friends, right leg way up and out behind you. Exhaling here, right knee to that right tricep. Scoop it up if you can. Inhale, send it back. Exhale, right knee to the left elbow or tricep. Now pause here, listen carefully. Extend your right leg out to the left. I want you to put the outer edge of your right foot on the floor, kind of in line with your hands, okay? Now you can stay here if you're more comfortable or if you feel good about it, reach up with your left hand. Gesture toward the ceiling. Take a big breath in here. And a big exhale. Nice. Inhaling here. Reach your left hand way past the front of the mat. And exhale. Drop it back under your left shoulder. Inhaling here. Right leg up and out behind you. And exhaling here, drop that right foot between your hands. Boom. Okay, we're headed to a twist. So I'm going to have you reach up with your right hand on the inhale. Okay, listen carefully here. Exhale, push down into your legs. You're going to come up into a standing, twisty lunge. Okay, breathe with me here. Push down into your legs. Look back at that right hand. Big twist from the belly button up. Nice breath. See if you can drop a little lower. The more you resist the floor with your legs and pull those knees toward each other, the better. Now try this. Try taking a windmill shape, dropping your right hand, lifting your left hand, okay? 
At some point, you're going to start looking to the left. Go ahead and drop your left heel and magically find yourself in a warrior two. Now pause here, warriors, and I will spin around to meet you. So warrior two, we want to make sure the shoulder blades are way down the back, right? They tend to kind of squinch up by the ears. No problem. Just get them down again. And I really want you to keep resisting the floor here. Push into the floor with your legs. Try to draw your legs toward each other. Maybe close your eyes. All right, warriors, here with your inhale, drop your left hand, reach your right arm way up high. Exhale, drop a little lower. Breathe with me here. Maybe if you feel kind of fancy, you can take your left hand behind, all the way behind your hips and grab your right thigh. And you can kind of grab onto that thigh and use it like a twisting helper. Mm, nice breath. One more big breath here, maybe looking up at your right hand. And let's let it out go on the exhale. Spin your hands down, boom, boom, under your shoulders, inside your right foot. Inhaling here, right leg way up and out behind you. Maybe one scorpion pose as we point the right toes to the left. And exhale all the way down with that right foot back and down dog. Take a breath or two here to shake it off. And let's take a little vinyasa to clear that out. Inhaling here, heart moves forward to a plank. Exhale, hop or step forward and fold. Inhale, roll it up. Exhale, sit into your chair. Hang with me. Big breath in, in your chair. Sink deeper on your exhale. Maybe drop your hips level with your knees. Inhale to stand, little back bend. Exhale to fold. Halfway up, inhale. Big fold, exhale. Palms are down, inhale to plank. You can hop it or step it. Chaturanga, knees, chest, and chin come down. Inhale, cobra or up dog, tailbone down, heart up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Five or six breaths. We move and then we, we're still. We find that balance, don't we? We build heat and energy with all that movement. And then we pause to reflect on the effect of all that movement on our tissues, on the mind, on the spirit. Are you ready for the other side? Okay, let's do it. Inhaling here, left leg up and out behind. Exhaling here, left knee to left elbow. Could you squinch it up to the tricep? Maybe. Inhale, send it out behind. Exhale, left knee to right elbow. Could you slide it up to the tricep? Okay, listen carefully here, pause. Extend the left leg out to the right. And you can put the outer edge of the left foot on the floor. So it's kind of in line with your hands. Stay here, maybe, or inhale, reach up with the right hand. And exhale fully. Inhale, right hand sweeps a huge arch over to the front of the mat. Exhale, right hand comes back down. Inhale, left leg up and out behind you. Exhale, left hand, left foot drops between your hands. Transitioning to a twist here, inhaling the left arm up. Check it out. Exhale, press into your legs. Pull yourself up into this twisty lunge and hang out here. Breathe with me. I want you to sink a little deeper. Push into your leg bones. Strengthen the leg muscles inward. Find that stability. Find that strength. Maybe close your eyes and really challenge yourself. Maybe smile about it, especially if you're wobbling. Find a sense of play, okay, of not taking it too seriously. 
Okay, and speaking of playing and not taking it too seriously, let's try this funky windmill movement, okay? Dropping the left hand, getting the right hand up. We're gonna spin around to a warrior two. So eventually you're looking to the right, drop that right heel, find yourself in warrior two. Hips open to the right, and I'll spin around to face you. Warriors, okay, fierce and gentle. Finding that balance. Push into the floor with your strong leg bones. Pull your strong leg muscles inward to center. Close your eyes, perhaps, and sink a little deeper. Drop the shoulders and lift the heart. Let your gentle warrior heart shine. Mm, be fully with any sensations, any feeling of challenge. Just be with the challenge. Stay in the struggle. Okay, warriors, drop the right hand. Reach up with the left hand. Big inhale. Exhale, drop a little deeper. Exalted warrior, hold and breathe. Stay with the challenge. Maybe wrap the right hand behind your back and grab onto your left thigh. Use it like a twisting helper. Drop a little deeper. Nice breath here. Find a sense of ease in your effort. One more big breath in. And let it all go. Exhale, hands spin down under your shoulders. Boom, boom. Inside that left foot. Inhale, left leg up and out behind. Maybe a little scorpion moment here. Pointing the left toe over to the right. And exhale to your down dog. Take a breath or two. Let that roll off your back. Let it go. <sighs> Whatever happened, let it go. And let's keep moving, friends. Inhaling here, heart forward to plank. Exhale, hop or step and fold. Inhale, roll it up. Exhale into your chair. Full breath in with me. Exhale, sink deeper with me. Hips level with knees. Inhale to stand. Little back bend. Exhale to fold. Halfway up, inhale. Very big fold, exhale. Palms are down. Inhale to plank. Chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe here. Close your eyes. Feel that energy swirling around. Find strength and stability here. Push into the hands, push into the feet. Maybe walk your fingers a little further forward, lengthening your spine. See if you could slow the breath down. Pull the elbows inward. And strengthen your quads. Lift your kneecaps. All righty. Let's get the right leg up and out behind and pause right there. A little scorpion time. So if you're getting tired in your arms, no problem. You can do this with your left knee on the floor. Okay, this will just be a little more gentle option here. But up into your scorpion if you're feeling pretty spicy still. Bend that right knee, point the toes to the left. Scorpion. So in a scorpion, we need to be careful that the right shoulder doesn't come up. Feel how it wants to? It really does. So put it down. I like to push into the right hand and lift the left shoulder, and that tends to help keep me level. As well, you can pull back on your left hip and look under your left armpit for your right foot and wave at yourself. <laughs> Give yourself a nice little hello. And if you're feeling pretty spicy here and you want to drop that right foot all the way to the floor, you can. Okay, you can call it a flip dog or a wild thing. And you can have the option here to roll your heart open. Mm, nice big breath in. I know. And then we're going to roll it back around, right hand back to the floor, right leg back up in the air. Take a big breath in, everybody with right leg out in the air behind. 
And exhale, right knee forward. Drop it next to your right hand. Drop the right knee next to your right hand. And drop the left knee too. So I've got us all set up for a, a pigeon. Okay, pigeon, great for that outer right hip IT band. Um, so make sure you adjust it before you commit to it. So you can pull the right foot very close to your hips to make this more gentle. Make sure your hips are level with the mat. Uh, and you can pull the right foot away from your hips to make it more spicy. <laughs> so make sure you have it where you want it. And make sure the right toes are pointed down, the right knee is pointed down. And then you can walk your hands out. Maybe you just put your elbows on the floor and hang your head with your long, long neck. Or if your head tends to want to come down, let it come down. So once you're here and you've committed to your pigeon posture, I want to remind you that we're still working a little bit, okay? We're not completely passive here. So I want you to resist the floor with your legs. Not 100% resistance, maybe five to 10% resistance is enough. And what do you notice? Okay, experiment, explore here. Perhaps you notice that when you resist slightly, you resist gravity a little bit, it gives you the opportunity to open up in the places that count, okay? Pushing the legs down into the floor can help you open up that right outer hip, the glute, the IT band. Where do you feel it? Find that perfect balance here between effort and ease and surf on that wave. Allow your upper body to sink closer and closer to the center of the earth. Maybe one more luxurious breath in and out. Letting go of any remaining tension in that right hip. And then my friends, we could stay here for a long time, but for our purposes today, let's get back to it. So hands back underneath your shoulders, please. Okay, could you tuck the left toes and shoot the right leg way up and out behind you? Try it. Tuck the toes, shoot the right leg up and out. Maybe one last little scorpion looking under your left armpit to wave at yourself with your right toes. And then back down to a down dog with that right foot. Take a breath to shake it off. <sighs> Let's take a little vinyasa in between, okay? Inhaling here, heart forward. Exhaling to your hands, hop or step. Fold. Inhaling, roll it up. Exhaling into your chair. Okay, you know what to do. Full breath in here. Sink deeper with me on the exhale. Inhale back up, tiny back bend. Exhale, big deep fold. Halfway up as you inhale and uncurl your spine forward. Big fold on your exhale. Palms are down, inhale to plank. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin come down. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Five or six long, slow, beautiful breaths here. Perfectly present in this moment. Noticing everything about this moment. Every little speck of lint you can see on your mat, notice that. Your heartbeat. The arrangements of your fingers and toes. And then let's do the other side, okay? 
So let's get the left leg up and out and then hold it up there and we'll scorpion it, bending that left knee, point the toes to the right. And remember, if this is a little too much for your upper body, just take the right knee down and you can still be here, okay? So notice that left shoulder wants to come up, doesn't it? So push into the left hand and lift the right shoulder and that'll keep your shoulders level. Okay, and then you can look under that right armpit and wave at yourself with your left toes. And you can stay here. You can drop it down to your knee or you can flip dog it, dropping those left toes and maybe peeling your heart open. Big breath in. And big exhale. Spin it all the way back around. We'll meet in that scorpion. And inhale to send the left leg up and out behind. And exhale, head it to a pigeon. Drop the left knee by your left hand. Drop the right knee. So before we commit, we want to align ourselves, okay, to make it just right for you and the vibe of your practice today. So pull the left foot closer to you. You can even kind of sit on it to make this a lot more gentle. Do check to be sure your hips are level with the floor. The right hip in general is gonna try to come up, okay? Put it level with the left. Your hips are both facing down. And the right top of your foot is on the floor. The toes point down. And you can always move the left foot away from you to make this more challenging in your left outer hip. So please fine tune this beautiful posture to match you. And then we'll come all the way down when we're ready. Mm, you might start on your elbows and just hang your head. And let your body soften gradually. In general, we, we work most effectively in these postures when we move slowly. Okay, isn't that a nice thing to think about? Just moving at our own pace, not letting ourselves be rushed by our expectations or anyone else's expectations. Just resist the floor slightly with your legs, just enough, and allow release to happen on its own. Resist and release. Find that perfect homeostasis for you. Sometimes, I don't know if you notice this in your practice, but I sometimes come across a posture that seems so uncomfortable. And then I realize, oh, I'm not activating any at all. I'm just being passive in the posture. And once you just bring in a little bit of activation from the right muscle groups, it allows release. Pigeon is definitely one of those where I notice that. So. Always experiment with compassion. Thinking about that left outer hip now. So it would be nice to stay here for a very long time and perhaps you do, okay, perhaps that's something that you're gonna do today. But for our purposes in this moment, I'm gonna bring us back up to our hands. And we can tuck the right toes, lift the right knee and try shooting your left leg all the way up and out behind you. Maybe one last little scorpion moment here as you point the left toes to the right and wave at yourself. And then exhale, left foot down, you're back in your down dog. Okay, one last little vinyasa. This is our last one. We'll take it really slow, okay? We'll kind of cool ourselves down. So inhaling heart forward, slow to plank. Exhaling, hop our steps, slow to your fold. Inhale, rolling up slowly, lifting your heart. Exhale to your chair. Stay here, big breath in. Drop lower, big exhale. Inhale, heart up, stand tall. Exhale, big fold. Slow up, inhale, halfway. 
And exhale, very big fold. See if you can hug your legs, maybe bend your knees and put your chest on your thighs. Palms down, inhale to plank. Knees, chest and chin on your exhale. Up dog or cobra on your inhale. Last down dog on your exhale. This is our last one of this practice. Notice how it feels. Notice how you feel. Notice how this moment feels. <sighs> and as you're ready, come on down to your knees. You can sit your hips back here. We'll take a little child's pose, just grounding, letting all the sensations of the practice kind of swirl around and begin to Consolidate into long-term memory. All the things we just experienced. Integrating all that awareness. All that control. The balance between effort and ease. And from here, walk your hands out to the right. A little side stretch, you'll feel it in your left side, right? So walk the hands as far out as you like. And then from here, I'll give you the option to add a little twist. So you can slide your left arm under your right and drop that left shoulder to the floor. So if that feels nice, and you can just let your head rest on the floor. Then you might make a tent out of your right hand and gently deepen this twist, okay, if that's appropriate for your vibe today. Make sure your neck is long. And then you have options here. You can deepen this a little more by interlacing your fingers and extending your right elbow. Okay, you feel how that deepens the twist? For a little extra, reach up with your right hand and then drop it across your back. You can maybe tuck your right hand on top of your left thigh and grab a hold of it. No matter where you are is perfect if it feels good and you're still having a good time. With each inhale, I want you to feel a little bit longer and freer in your body. And with each exhale, let go of any tension. Anything that remains. Anything keeping you from being in this moment. And we'll switch sides here. So bringing the hands back around front. Let's walk them over to the left. As far as you like. So you're looking for a really nice right side stretch first. Okay, find that nice right side stretch. And you can stay here if this is what you're kind of wanting right now. But if you want to get a little twisty, take that right hand under the left, reach to the left. And so you're dropping your right shoulder here. You can stay here just using the left fingers to deepen the twist if that's appropriate. Or you can interlace your fingers and extend your left elbow. Taking it deeper, reach up with the left hand. Drop it across your back and grab your right thigh. Hold tight, deepen your twist. Inhale to be very spacious and infinite, expand in all directions. And then exhale to get really small and squeeze out any remaining tension. Inhale, get big. Exhale, get small. 
Enjoy one more breath here. As you are ready, unwind yourself. Back to center. So you can rest here, finishing out your practice in your child's pose or any other resting posture that suits you. Please be creative and interpret what a resting posture means for you. But wherever you land, let your breath slow down. Let go of all control of your breath and body. Just for a few moments, let go of all effort and just exist the way a child exists. Trusting that everything is taken care of. Everything is going just as it should. You cultivate bliss right here, right now. My friends, this is where I will leave you today. So please keep resting right where you are for as long as you can. Okay. I'd recommend at least five minutes. But whatever you have, please take that resting time. Thank you so much for joining me.